Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and my craft table. Welcome if you're new, I'm so glad that you are here. Tonight I am doing a bit of back to school crafting. So basically I took my daughter shopping and we bought a lot of things and of course all those things need to be monogrammed and or labeled. So let's go ahead and dive into tonight's projects. I hope that you are having a great evening and that you are also um, thinking about the back to school frenzy and staying cool, calm, and collected because we all know that it is crazy out there. Okay, so let's get started. Now, actually the first craft that I have is really not a craft. My husband wants me, he's got one of those, um, one of those wallets that you basically like, uh, oh, I don't know you, I can't even open it. <laughs> basically everything, it's, uh, I think it's one of those ridge ones or something, but anyway, it, it's one of those wallets that's down uh, on lockdown. So he wanted me to etch his initials in the corner. Now, I don't have the um, etching stuff yet. I'll have to order that. Um, but I told him that for the meantime, I could absolutely just put his initials on there with some vinyl and see if he is um, liking the look. So here is his wallet and all I did was clean the surface with some rubbing alcohol. That way we can make sure that the um, vinyl stays down. And he chose, he wanted something kind of shimmery um, so that it would look a little fancy. And so I have a silver here. So we're gonna just get his initials on the corner. Let me grab some transfer tape. I think this will be good. I'm, pro I'm going to try and use up a lot of my transfer tape, um, I guess, scraps, because I am really on a mission this year to um, use up as many scraps as I can, because we all know that there are a ton of scraps left over when we do our vinyl projects. So we're going to re just remove that transfer tape and then I am simply, actually let me place that there. And I don't know if you've noticed in my last couple of videos, but um, I have the Cricut large, extra large um, scraper tool, which I absolutely love, but I really like these. These are from TechWrap. I really like these little scraper tools. They're very sturdy and everything. but. I love the fact that they have like a little group, like a little middle there, and I can just put my weeding tool there. It is so neat and um, very easy. So let's get this put on here. And let's see that. Yep, that looks. And what I like about these super tiny little um, vinyl scraps is a lot of times your finger is plenty and then other times you do need your um, scraper tool it kind of just depends but essentially there we go look at that nice and good okay so here's his wallet nice little monogram there and he can decide if he likes this look and if he does then I will be happy to invest in the etching cream for him and I will etch his monogram permanently. Okay so that's craft number one. Craft number two, my daughter is so cute. So she is 12 going on 21 and she and I went shopping this weekend and you know to get stuff for her for back to school because she said, hey mom, you know, if we wait too long, everything is gonna be gone and I'm not gonna have, you know, choices. So I was like, okay. So we had an amazing mother-daughter shopping day. It was so fun. And then um, basically she made a list and one of the things on her list was one of these, and you get these in the travel section, 
just a travel um, first aid kit. I guess it's some. I guess she periodically needs band aids, etc. And so she wanted her very own personal uh, first aid kit that she could just pull out band aids or what have you. So I was like, okay, well that's great. I'm glad you are prepared. So I am simply going to put a little first grade or uh, first grade a first aid. Um, emblem thing on the front and we're going to put her um, initials, her little monogram, we're going to put that on the back because you know how it is at school, everything should be labeled. Now granted she's in 7th grade this year so she's pretty good about keeping her things, you know, keeping up with her things. Okay. But this is the design that she personally chose out of Design Space. And let me make sure that eye stays in place. Yeah, she is really funny. She, she's very particular about a lot of things. So I let her choose the first aid kit design that she wanted. And of course, I'm getting the letters all messed up here. There we go. Well, mostly. Okay, there we go. So she chose this design and I told her that I would put not only the first aid on there, but then I would put a monogram. In fact, I just basically said, hey, bring me everything that I can monogram that would be great. Okay, so let's grab some transfer tape for this one and put that down. Okay, so here we go. We're going to burnish this down front and back. So how is your summer going? I have heard from some of my friends down in Texas that they they are already starting school. Guys, it is July and they are already starting school. That is, yeah, that is not cool. I don't start teaching until, oh goodness, um, August 20th at the college and the following week at the high school. Okay, so we're going to put this down. Okay, so I am still enjoying summer, which is good. So I hope that your summer is going well. There we go. Perfect. All right, so here is the front of her little first aid kit. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn that over. And we're going to go ahead and put her monogram on there. I am so excited that she has let me have, oh, basically four things. I wanted a fifth thing that she, that she and I had bought for her, but she decided, nope, mom, you only get four things. But that's okay. I'm good. We will monogram her four things and the rest I guess she can just not have monogrammed. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the back. Very nice. Burnish that down. Okay, very nice. Okay, so this would be a great um, addition to any middle school or high schoolers backpacks. Um, they could keep it in their locker or their backpack. Or if you are a teacher, actually really and truly anybody who has a desk, this would be great for you to keep with you at all times just because, and then you could always add to it um, just in case you need to know what's in here. There is some cleansing wipes, some gauze, and band-aids. 
so there's there's no medication in here but you could totally add that on your own after the fact and that is our second craft next craft is her very flexible ruler that she had and I thought that it would be neat um, I was going to put something on the front but then I decided to turn that into a much more um, sentimental craft that I will show you later so I decided just to do her initials on the back so we're going to do initials again and for these initials I just really just use the monogram maker in design space and that was super easy peasy so if you have not tried the monogram feature in design space um, I do encourage you to do so it makes making a monogram really easy I do know that you can um, you know through creative fabrica and other sites you can get um, monograms but this was just so easy to do okay so I'm just basically going to put this down on her ruler it's just her initials in the center I thought about putting them on the front but then I thought well she may not want them on the front so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the back let it be you know how seventh graders are oh oh we gotta put that back down so there we go okay mom that's kind of cattywampus maybe she will maybe she won't notice real life crafting guys real life crafting okay so basically craft number three is a personalized ruler um, I actually may do my own personalized ruler for my math class because I'm constantly making sure that um, I love my kids you know I have bins of the supplies for all of my students but then I have to make sure that my own supplies is kept safe and sound otherwise they will um, mistake my supplies for theirs and I already have their own supplies for them. Craft number three, we have um, a larger monogram. And my daughter picked out this brush. It's not, it's, I guess it's kind of a rose gold in, in a way. Um, it's not as pink as you would normally expect a rose gold to be, but it is a really cute, little brush and so she said hey mom can you put my initials on my brush so I said of course I can and what I like is that you know she's she's really big in the sports she plays she plays volleyball well actually she's playing volleyball this year she plays basketball she plays or she does track so um, she definitely needs to make sure that she's got everything that she needs. There we go. I'll use this one. And so I was like, sure, I'll be happy to put your little monogram on. And that way when they go to their little sports meets and she takes her stuff with her, then... It has her initials on it. Okay. So we'll just put that right there in the middle. Okay, so monogramming school supplies and a personal first or first aid kit look at that so she chose this brush all on her own and y'all i have this rose gold um vinyl this is from expressions vinyl and i it is just 
It's just dreamy. So anyway, she chose that, and I thought, oh my goodness, how perfect is that? Uh, this looks great. Okay, so that is craft number four. So craft number next. Craft number next, whatever. I think we're up to like number five. So um, this is from Target. She chose this particular binder. And um, it's just so funny because the two things that she has chosen this year, I actually have an exact match of vinyl. Who would have thought? So this is her binder and she said, that I could put her little monogram in the corner. So quick and easy work. We're just going to get this burnished down, covered with transfer tape. So Yep, we are definitely already, we're already starting the back to school shopping mindset. And yet I'm still, I'm still on summer mode, um, hiking, crafting, all kinds of stuff. And she is definitely into school mode. Okay, so... There we go. Wow, look at that. I should probably go back and get a couple extra of these binders because she really liked it. And you never know when they... Look at that. That could not be a more perfect match if I tried. I definitely need to order some more of this rose gold from Expressions Vinyl. But isn't that just gorgeous? And she would not have not known that I had that. So I'm super excited that I was able to do that for her. Craft is a little bit different. I really wanted to make her feel super special. Um, so I created, a, well, I found a design in Design Space that I just thought was, was just so sweet. And this particular frame right here, this is from Dollar Tree. And, you know, quite frankly, it's a really pretty frame. So I decided that she needed, she needed something that would be beautiful to remind her of how amazing she really is. Um, actually, let me clean this glass super fast, or, well, to the best of my ability. All right, that is probably good. Now, the inside of this particular frame is going to on the on the inside is a five and a half by five and a half so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut down a piece of cardstock to five and a half by five and a half and then i have a really 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 sweet sentiment and i'm going to put that oh hey look at that I'm going to put that on this particular piece of paper just for her. And it's just super sweet. Now it does have a lot of small little pieces, so I'm really hoping that I don't have any leading issues. I can't wait for you to see it. It's just, it's so perfect for a young teen girl. It really is just perfect. Yeah. Um, 
I got this all weeded out. I will tell you right now that I am always choosing the designs that have the smallest. So these particular words right here, some of the letters have these microscopic hair-like pieces. So like this part of the R, this part of the, anyway, oh my goodness. Well, I got it weeded, and so I will just say that if you choose a design that has a lot of tiny little pieces, take your time, go slow, but I got it done. Okay, so now I am going to cover this with transfer tape. And I'm going to burnish this down really well on both sides, like always. And then we're going to put this together. Guys, this is going to be so pretty. I cannot wait to give this to her. And I'm trying to decide, do I wait until the first day of school? I think I might. I think I might wait till the first day of school. I think it might have more of an impact, but okay. So here is a piece of cardstock. Now this is just 110 pounds cardstock, and it is enough to you know fill in this particular um, frame. In fact, I probably could cut off a little bit here. So maybe I should do that. Let me grab my little mini trimmer. Okay. So I'm just going to put the vinyl down on the cardstock. And that way we can always, perfect. We can always change this out as needed. Now. For right now, I'm going to leave it like this because this is going to help me line it up. And then I'll flip this over um, because I just think, you know, got this little lip there. So I think as long as I line this up in the middle, let's see, so five and a half, and I just want to get it as lined up as possible. Okay. Let's see. All right. Um, I think that's, yep, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm going to pull the paper out so that I can burnish it down and pull up the transfer tape. Just like this. Okay. And I really should have used my paper transfer tape, but that's okay. I have this really amazing paper transfer tape that I use when I do paper projects. But this particular piece has been used before, so the tack is really, really low, and there we go. Okay, so now, I'm really hoping this is lined up very good. Oh, there we go. That's what I was wanting. Oh, look at that. You are beautiful, loved, worthy, smart, capable, kind. You are enough. Oh, that's so perfect. Okay, well, this is the mat that came with the particular frame. So I'm just going to leave that in there in case we use it again. And then we, of course, got the backer. And I'm just going to pop that down. And the more I look at this frame, the, the more I really like this frame. It's a really, it's a nice glitter finish. I'm trying to get it to not, there we go. Guys, look at that. That is so pretty. So this is something I'm going to give her on the first day of school, I think. I think I'm going to hide it and hang on to it. Okay, well, this is out of design space, and I just put, um, yeah, for my, 
for the search, I just put you are pretty and this is what came up. <laughs> and I just thought it was beautiful. Okay, so this is craft number six, I think, that we're gonna do. Actually, okay, so we've got the one for the husband is done. We have the ones for the daughter done. Okay, so I think the rest are actually back to school um, deals for myself. So this is one of the Dollar Tree, um, this is one of the Dollar Tree pencil sharpeners. And they are amazing. If you haven't gone to the Dollar Tree and gotten one of these, it's the Jot brand. These are amazing. So I have one here in my craft room. Um, my daughter has one in her bedroom for her desk. And then I'm going to take this to school. So let's see, I believe, all right, that, yep, okay, so this is, and I'll need a tiny little piece of transfer tape to go with that. So this is for my desk at school. Now, granted, I have a I have an electronic pencil sharpener over in over on my um, little bookcase for my students. However, um, to be honest, it is much more convenient if I can just stay at my table, my desk, and. Um, sharpen my pencils as needed, especially when I'm in the middle of a lesson. Okay, so I'm just going to weed out these tiny little middles that love to stick to my little finger. Okay. All right, so this says, stay sharp. I thought that was a great pun. And um, you just put it on the side of my little pencil sharpener here. And I may come back and put my monogram on the other side. But for right now, I thought, stay sharp. That would be you know, witty and cheeky <laughs> all at the same time. Okay, so I do need to do some rubbing alcohol on here. Okay. And, you know, I, a lot of people, well, I don't know. How do you guys feel about, like, I just like to label everything. One, when I use my things, it makes me happy. You know, I mean, if I have to, if I have to work, then I might as well, you know, does that look, does that look centered? I think that looks centered. If I have to work, you know, then I might as well make my little environment one such that, it makes me smile all day long. And, you know, this just kind of makes me giggle. It's the little math nerd in me, you know, stay sharp. And boy, these do, um, again, these are really great pencil sharpeners. They are definitely super, super awesome. And they take three AA batteries, just so you know. The front here pulls off and that's where you can empty your shavings and the battery compartment back here. So, stay sharp. I thought that was kind of tongue in cheek, love it. Next craft is one of these, again, now this is also from Dollar Tree. This is just one of their little pencil boxes. Okay, so again, with the Jot brand. And, um, 
Okay, so just the Jot brand here. And quite frankly, you can never have enough boxes to contain all of your things. So what I have done, this will again be for some stuff that I need in my classroom. But what I did is in my scrap bin, you can't really see it very well, but there is, there is a circle here and I'm going to put this circle in the middle of my box and then I have a monogram. And so this is my particular monogram. And this will be a great, you know, cause I sometimes have to go to lots of meetings, etc., And it's just nice to have all the things that I need in a box. So like sticky notes, highlighters, pens, um, little flags for our um, reference manuals. Just It's just nice to have everything contained in one little spot. I can just throw this in my bag and it's ready to go. So let me grab, okay, so I'm going to do this all actually in one fell swoop. So what I thought I would do is take my monogram and put it down in the middle of that circle. And then I will put the circle and the monogram all together. Okay. So now I'm just going to kind of line this up. Well, these little boxes here from the Dollar Tree, if I'm actually thinking about making some back to school treat boxes for some teachers and it would be great to have something on the front and then just a variety of treats in here like gum and mints and maybe a, a nice pen you know just all kinds of things that you could put in there for them just a little welcome back to school it would just be something to make them feel special um, you know, coming back from summer break. Okay. So I'm just going to stick this right in the middle here. And I think that works. So definitely a good idea for a teacher, like welcome back to school um, thing. And I know not everybody does that. Some people just think that um, sending their student in is present enough, which it is. However, what a sweet little thing this would be just to fill this with little treats for teachers for back to school. And um, so anyway, this is for my desk, for the things that I need to be able to carry around to different meetings. And there you go, one more craft down. My next craft, these are little metal pencil cases. And these I actually um, got at Dollar Tree as well. So this one here, I treated myself um, when I took my daughter shopping, shopping at Target, um, I found like the cutest little pins and I thought it would just be nice um, something for myself I love school supplies I love pens I love highlighters pencils so anyway I purchased these and I thought what a great thing to put in one of my little tins that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and then in this tin right here, this one houses a watercolor brush and these are watercolor pencils. So I just thought it would be a nice 
think this per this holds these perfectly. So I thought it would be great to label both of these. Now for these, I actually made an offset. So the color, um, the color layer is the layer that will be on the bottom and then um, the white layer is the layer that has the word like the actual word where you can see everything okay so this one in particular says pens i'm gonna just grab these and the little middles so i don't know about you but i absolutely love buying school supplies i think i love buying school supplies more than my daughter does okay so here's what i need to know let me get a smaller piece of transfer tape. I think this one will work. Okay, so again, I'm going to take pens. So put this on the transfer tape, and then we're going to lay this down on top of the shadow layer. Let's see, shadow layer, get it lined up really nice. Okay, ooh, that looks pretty good. And then burnish that down. I think every time I go to the store, I probably buy something that falls in the office supplies or school supplies category. Let's move those out of the way. So I thought these were so cute. Um, you know, the, um, the teenager wasn't real in thought and, you know, enthralled with them, but I thought it was great. So I'm going to actually put it down here over in this corner. And so just like this, that way it won't totally distract from the design. I'm not a huge rainbow cheetah print kind of person, but for a dollar, this was so cute. Okay, so those are my pens and they're nice and colorful and that way they're all in one place and I can either, you know, keep them here. Um, I've got like a little box with my highlighters for my Bible. I can leave them here with those. I could take them to school. I can throw them in my bag. Just lots of ways to keep that stuff together and um, not all over the place. Okay. And then this one, which is um, a stripe. When I saw this, I immediately thought of my watercolor pencils. So I thought this was just perfect. Okay, so let's read watercolor pencil word. And hopefully I don't have any issues with today with the watercolors. Oh, there's my eye. Love it. Before I weed this particular word, especially since earlier, I was having so much trouble with the other one. I am going to, I burnished down. And then let's see if we can get all of this to cooperate. I think I'm just choosing fonts that are really kind of delicate, so to speak. So there's watercolors. 
for a watercolor. Just a few more middles and then we'll put this on this offset. Perfect. Okay, so I have to know if you are someone who, like me, you like to buy school supplies. Like I buy school supplies, like students buy school supplies. But I've always been that way, so. Okay, so this is the offset and it will help everything show up. I think every time I go to the store, I go down the school supplies aisle, the office supplies, whatever aisle it happens to be on. And I look around for things that, hmm, do I need that? Do I need it? No, I don't need it. Do I want it? Well, yes, that would be a whole different conversation. I think I want to put, just like the last one, I'm going to put the watercolor pencils in orange. I'm going to put that on top of... Well, if I can get this transfer tape, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on top of the offset. And then we'll put the offset, I mean, we'll put the whole thing onto the little box all at one time. Okay, so let me get this lined up here. And well, that is not quite what I wanted to have happen. Okay, so maybe we'll hold that down. Okay, lots of static. It just makes me laugh. All right, watercolor pencils. I, you know, I really, I really like the offsets when you're doing a, a little project like this because I just feel like it helps the words to stand out the way that you need it to. Oh, my little C. Um, maybe I'll be able to fix that in just a moment. So we're going to put down watercolor pencils and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to stick it over here on this end and hopefully I will be able to do a little bit of surgery on that C and pull that so I'm not going to burnish that. <laughs> I'm going to burnish everything but that C and I'm going to try and pull that little particular letter up and fix that. There we go. Okay, so we'll just pop that right back there. There we go. Look at that. Okay. All right, so now we have pens and watercolors. And this is very exciting to me. These make me super happy. I have three more short little crafts and Let's see, hopefully I won't have to take all of these out. So these are actually for my pegboard. And since we were doing school supplies oriented project, I thought it would be nice to throw this into the mix. So from afar, well, I may have to pull these out, but, um, or I guess they could sit like that. That'll work. Um, what I thought I would do is label the front of these and I'm hoping the rest of my little boxes come in, but let's see. Oh, I do need to cut these apart. So I just made a label for one for Prismacolors and one for Joy Pens. And then as the rest of my pegboard accessories come in, I will just make a few more. 
but I thought that this would be super fun and you know it's just it's nice I just like to have everything labeled and of course when you're looking at your pegboard it's just nice you look over and you say oh I mean yeah I can see that they're joy pins but you know it just gives them a little pizzazz dress them up okay and then this one says Prisma Colors. A couple of little middles. Oh, so back to my very earlier conversation. My friends down in Texas are telling me that they are starting school early. I don't know if it's that particular district or if it's all over, but wow i i just don't even know what to say to that so we don't start school for a couple more well actually i have like i don't know three three four more weeks and i know some people don't start till like right after labor day so you know it's just really interesting how different Different places have different um, start days that are so drastically different than everyone else. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this over. I would really like to not have to pull these pencils out. Okay, so Prisma Colors and... Lift that up a little bit. All right, so we have Prisma colors, very nice. And then Joy pins. I'm really enjoying the pegboard. I've never had one, so I just recently got one and I am really enjoying having stuff on the wall instead of on a flat surface. Okay, so then we have, so we have joy pins and we have Prisma colors. Perfect. All right, let's take care of our last two crafts. This particular craft is one that um, is really more for my classroom and um, I don't feel like getting my ruler out right now so I am going to use one of my pens and so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to cover this with a white vinyl rectangle and then I will be putting the words on top of that and so this will be this is a classroom craft that is going to cover the um, front of the book and I'm just going to stick this down like a sticker like I'm not even going to use transfer tape for this okay I'm just going to get that down and then just take care of any bubbles that we have all right now there is a title So the title is Tutorials. <laughs> and so this is a log that I keep for my students to basically state when they are 
you know, when they come in for tutorials, I have them sign in. And that way, you know, they have, they have evidence that they were there. I have evidence that they were there. And it just, just makes everything nice and easy. There is a tiny little spot right here in my vinyl. that I think I am going to turn into an eye or a dot to my eye. I mean, it's for my classroom. Nobody's gonna know. We'll just stick this just like that. And it's not perfect, but really I don't think, I really don't think anybody would really know. So now I'm going to grab some transfer tape that will fit. One. Okay. This one is really kind of too big itself, but that's okay. And I just noticed that these O's, they have middles that I did not weed out. Okay. Got those. And now we'll just come in here. Excellent. That looks nice. Very nice. Okay, so down to our very last craft planner for the school year. And I love this. So I tried a new planner not too long ago, and it's fantastic. However, I am finding that I am someone and I've never seen a planner do this before, so I'm going to try this out for the school year. But basically, I'll just show you. So, first of all, this is an academic calendar. So it goes from July to July. All right. Or actually, I think this one goes to December. July, and then all the way around, so 18 months. But what I like about this is that I have the monthly spread, which is what I absolutely have to have is the monthly spread. But then, and I have to have the weeks, but then the weeks I have each day over here. And then on this side, I have what they call a dashboard. And it's like, here's the to do's and the importance and looking ahead. And it, this right here, I have never seen a planner and I have spent a fortune on planners. I've never seen a planner have something like this. And this is what I need on a weekly basis is a dashboard of what I have going on, things to make note of, etc. Not just my daily appointments and stuff. So this, I got this for school, and what I love about it, Forge Your Own Trail, the beginning of, of each month is a different um, divider. So Be Bravely You, Enjoy Where You Are Now, Always Take the Scenic Route, Just Do What Makes You Happy, and a plaid trees for December, forge your own trail for January, wander, wonder, and repeat. Okay, this needs to become a t-shirt or a mug, I'm telling you. I am definitely making a t-shirt or a mug with this of somehow. And then some 
stamps that have camping themes and then kind of a little bit of go outside adventure all around like just this guys this is just wonderful this speaks to my heart right here is all of these things be an explorer of the world adventure is all around so whoever put this design together they get gold star they get a gold star they get a triple a so much to discover so little time some flowers and then let's get lost oh that's another mug or t-shirt waiting to happen too so yes this is an 18 month one and it's just perfect so of course we had to put a monogram on it I'm very excited about this particular planner and I have high hopes and so the other planner that I just got not too long ago I am really just turning that into like almost like a journal and a like a content I'll do a um, content planner I guess and then this will be my main planner especially for school and family stuff okay boy I am having all kinds of struggles tonight but you know that sometimes is crafting is a little bit of struggle working through it and coming out on the other side with something beautiful that makes your heart just sore okay and I don't know where my little tissue is that's okay I will use one of these All right, last craft of the evening, monogram for my journal. Perfect. There we go. Look, I just, oh, that just makes me happy. This right here, my heart makes, this just makes me happy. Okay, well, I will say this has been a most productive evening. So um, this is something I'm going to save for the very first day of school. And I'm going to have it set out with her breakfast. And I just, I hope that she knows that I, you know, these are really words that just encapsulate who she are, who she is as a person. And that it'll just be something that she can remember throughout the day. And every day I just I love that and then we had some functional things so she wanted a first aid kit that was monogrammed so we got that and then of course my husband wants to test out whether or not he wants a monogram so we're just doing a vinyl and if he really likes it then be happy to do an etching then we had um, one of these for my desk, Stay Sharp. Thought that was kind of witty, tongue in cheek. And then a box with my monogram for my desk slash going to, around to my different meetings and having all of my things that I need available for those. Some more things for the daughter. So something for her math class and then a brush. Love it. Nice little monogram. She never lets me monogram anything. So I was so pleased when she said, can you put my monogram on all of these? Sure thing, honey. And then of course her binder. I still can't get over that this binder and then the vinyl that I already had on hand are a perfect match. I mean, that is just amazing. And then two little things for my pegboard. I love how these came out. This is that font Carly in Design Space, and I just think it looks great. 
So we have those with the Carly font. We have a tutorial log for my own classroom, again with the Carly font. And I've got my monogram on my new planner for school. And then these here, these, I believe this font, this is the monogram maker. Th these, these are, um, I want to say Kate, ABC, Baby Girl, th this one, Kate, Baby Girl, ABC. So, um, and again with the monogram. So pretty much everything is either an element with a design in design space or a monogram feature. Oh, and this one, this one was um, a teacher. Uh, it, yeah, I just plugged in teacher into the different fonts and this one came up. So I forget what it's called. I'll try and um, link that for you or at least put the names of all of these fonts for you in the description below. But essentially everything either came from Target or Dollar Tree. I'll just list those. And that's really it for this evening. I think my favorite, I think my favorite is this one. I, I just, that is my favorite. So let me know down in the comments what is your favorite. And if you've already started preparing for school or if you are still enjoying your summer days. That is it for this evening's craft session. I hope that you found this uh, video was a little bit entertaining and just kind of interesting to go through getting ready for school and just some ideas to help you get organized and really just, you know, hanging out, crafting, enjoying the evening. Uh, don't forget to hit that like uh, button and it really does help the channel. We are growing by leaps and bounds. So it's just such a blessing to have all of you here and a like button and a comment is something definitely to help myself and any creator really just grow our channels. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new content is posted. And until I see you in the next video, uh, enjoy your summer days or what is left of them and as always happy crafting thank you all so much for watching today i'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table if you're not already i'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you'll know when new videos arrive have a great day and as always happy crafting